Welcome back, people. I hope you all enjoyed our last video. If you haven't seen it yet, please do. In today's episode, we've got 15 scary ghost videos that are downright spine chilling. Make sure you stay tuned till the very end. And if you don't want to miss any of our videos, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we post new content. Let's get started. Number 15. Alex a paranormal investigator from the YouTube channel Exploring the Unknown, decides to look into a former nunnery that has been abandoned in south of England. The former covenant was also used as a mental hospital in the previous structure, with more than a century of bleak history. Asylum operated from the 1800s to the late 1900s. The structure is rumored to be very haunted, which is not surprising. A melancholy nun is rumored to still be seen wandering the ancient asylum's passageways, and she's not the only figure that's claimed to haunt the structure. With only a camcorder and a torch, Alex decides to explore the monastery alone, but once inside, he has the strong impression that somebody is watching him. Hello, is anyone here? Hello? The investigator doesn't even see it, but as he passes one of the abandoned old asylum chambers, a menacing dark figure seems to be hiding within. Alex hears unusual noises and feels like he's being followed before he captures something utterly horrifying. The figure that has a disturbing resemblance to the silhouette of a nun. Hence, possible that Alex was being watched by the supposedly haunted old nun. Number 14. The following video is from the Eder Hernandez channel. Hernandez and his team reportedly visited a cemetery that's said to be haunted. The ghost hunting crew walked the entire region after arriving until they came across this. Te tenían la forma como um, ahora sí que humanoide, güero. Sí, eran eran chaparrillos. <coughs> Ajá, eh. Era para acá, ¿no? Sí, güey. Aquí arriba de ese árbol. Sí, güey. Pero eran como ojos humanoides. ¿Qué, güey? ¿Cómo salió loca? Mira, mira. Chale, ¿y ahora? Loco, salió como pedo, güey. ¿Salió corriendo nomás de repente? ¿Y eso? Escuché un ruido aquí y nomás de repente salió corriendo por allá. Pero sí salió como que asustada, ¿eh, güey? Sí. Mi gente, pues seguimos. Abusados, güey, ¿eh? No los vaya a agarrar por sorpresa nada, güey. No, no, no. Y no se paniquen ni salir corriendo, güey. Porque aquí sí se ha puesto... En este... En esta zona, güey. Sí se ha puesto... Si ¿Sí escuchaste a ah, papi, aquí atrás, te lo juro que escuché algo aquí atrás. Está grande también. Está grande, güey. Bueno, aquí también. La maldita. Chinga tu madre. One of the cameras captured an intriguing moment when they heard something coming from the bushes nearby. The video shows a small white creature roaming about in the bushes. However, they continued recording till Edder captured this. Yo no escuché ni el tosido ni ahorita. No dejen solo al güerito hermoso, por favor. Vamos a mandar a hacer más camisas, mi gente. Y posiblemente, si hay alguna imprenta que nos esté viendo en este momento. Si hay alguna imprenta que nos esté viendo en este momento y quiera hacer un convenio o un negocio con nosotros, mi gente. Mira, 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 no mames, güey. Allá atrás del amarillo, güey. Del amarillo, te lo juro, güey. ¿Qué? No vi. 
Te juro por Dios, güey. Estaba yo de espalda. No creo que se haya grabado, güero. Es que es panorámica, ah, pa. No sé, güey. Igual lo checo. Chécalo, papacito. Mi gente, se juro que vi algunas... Oblivious of what they had done, Eder spotted a dark shadow moving about the cemetery while they were exploring. But what they captured after that was much stranger. Yo no escuché ese susurro que di. Bueno, es un suspiro. ¿Escuchaste, Fossil? Fossil. Como que mofaba. Sí, sí, como que sí lo afectó, mi gente. Aquí entre nosotros siento que... Siento que sí lo afectó. Como que mufó. Como un toro. Pero que... Pero, ¿cómo es? Sí, pero, pero cerca de ti. Cerca de mí, güey, atrás. Pollo, acuérdate que vienes grabando, papi. Sí, pero es que tengo muchas mocas en la... Siempre hay un pretexto. Okay. Siempre hay un puto pretexto. Pero no pelas un chorizo, güey. Hey, algo, hay algo, algo frente. ¿Dónde, verga? ¿Dónde? Allá arriba. ¿Dónde, verga? A ver, a su lado, a su lado. A su lado, alumbren, alumbren, a su lado, lado verga. Tú, a... ¿Dónde, güey? No hay nada. Güey, vi algo aquí enfrente. No hay nada, puñetas. When everyone turned to gaze in the same direction, none of the detectives spot anything odd. But for a split second, the camera caught a shadowy figure on the fence. The choice is ultimately yours as to whether the ghost seen on camera is real or just a fabrication. Number 13. The following video is from the Japanese channel Kuroshiro on YouTube. To look into a rumored haunted hotel room someplace in Japan, Shiro, who always wears a mask, sets out. According to the investigator, a guy was recently killed in one of the hotel rooms in a very violent and savage manner. Ever since, the room is claimed to be haunted. Shiro sets up a few static cameras a motion and voice activated toy dog and prepares to spend the night investigating. But as the inquiry progresses, the motion sensing toy starts acting abnormally. What? <laughs> Shiro resets the toy dog after being a little startled and continues to look about. What happens next? Is really disturbing. ちょっと。
Shiro notices the hallway door slowly opening on its own out of the corner of his eye, but when he goes to investigate, nobody's there. However, as soon as he looks back toward the hallway, a terrifying dark figure can be seen standing directly in front of him. Shiro stumbles in horror, snatches his camera, and stands up again, only to see that the apparition has already vanished. Although some of Shiro's viewers perceive the ghost to be more of a lady, Shiro thinks he may have managed to capture the enraged soul of the guy who was murdered in the hotel room. What do you think? Perhaps the evil force that caused the man to die? Number 12. The Goldfield High School was one of only two significant historical structures that remained in the town of Goldfield, Nevada after a terrible fire destroyed most of it in 1923. Though it was initially simply a high school when it was built in 1907, the high school gradually taught students of all ages. The school's somewhat wicked principal is claimed to have frequently disciplined his students harshly when it was still in existence. To make matters worse, a pupil is said to have died from the carbon monoxide poisoning in the building's coal room. Fractured and deteriorating foundation forced the closure of Goldfield High School in 1953. It's been vacant and abandoned for nearly 70 years. The deceased principal's ghost, as well as the ghosts of her former students, according to residents, are still very active in the building. Ghost hunters Tony Desmond, Caden, Joem and Eric from the YouTube channel Ogden Paranormal are spending the night in the unsettling abandoned school in an effort to document any paranormal activity. Team member Eric, who is close to the principal's office, starts to feel quite uncomfortable not long after they start to put up their equipment. What's going on, bro? I feel like I just got socked in my stomach. I feel so nauseous now. You thought you got socked in your stomach? Yeah. I was just following Caden, trying to figure out where to put this either. That was weird. I was walking this way, and he was behind me, and then he just like, when kind of was just like, whoa. Uh, I think he said whoa or something like that, and it was just kind of like, almost like when he was going like, to stumble, and he just pretty much just sat down. You good, E? I think I need, I need some air, dude. Yeah, let's get you outside, bro. Outside. I feel so sick right now. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Like I said, don't feel like I guess you... it could be worse, right? It could I... be worse. And here's the other thing is, like, you're in charge here. It's not, you know, know it's their building stuff, but... I'm a person, dude, and I feel like they're crying right now. Even though Eric is a fervent skeptic in the paranormal in general, he finds it difficult to follow the others as they go back upstairs in the wake of this event. The Ogden paranormal squad appears to be starting to elicit some unusual, unexplainable behavior within the closed high school. Only Tony, Joseph, and Caden stay on the third floor as the team disperses. They attempt to communicate with what they think might be the ghost of the school's former principal. And that is when things start to become seriously strange. You think it's okay to lock them in a closet? Because it's not okay. What was that? It just sounded like a chair. Yeah. What was that? What was that? Just chair. Yeah. The unusual thing about this experience is that they don't just hear the mystery chair when they're on the first floor. They also hear it when they're on the second floor. The sound of a chair gliding across the floor can be observed. And shortly after that, an EVP appears to greet them. Then this again afterwards. What's your name? Is that what tripping out about that sound of shit? That squeaky sound? <laughs> it sounded like a chair sliding. Are you up there? The 
The team members Desmond and Eric are looking into some of the high school's classrooms while the team struggles to pinpoint the exact source of the eerie sound due to the large number of chairs that are strewn across the building. Desmond confronts the ghosts of former students about the harsh tenets of the institution. Then one of their stationary cameras in the adjacent room records something very odd. Does she hit you? If she was to do that nowadays, she would go to jail. Right as Desmond says that, our static camera right outside the classroom catches some sort of shadow or mist near the toy trigger objects. It's pretty faint, but if you look near the bottom half of the screen, you'll see a mist-like anomaly go from right to left towards the piano. We'll play it on a loop so you can more easily see it. Did the Ogden Paranormal team catch a shadow apparition on camera? If so, are previous students or perhaps even the evil principal still haunting the school's hallways? Share your thoughts with me. Number 11. The following spooky video is from the Mind Seed TV channel featuring Casey and Colton, who, after being convinced by another watcher to visit another cursed property, went there to carry out a paranormal investigation. <laughs> the f was that? You know exactly what that was. That's a wolf, huh? Gotta be. Yeah, that's one hell of a way to start the night. Yeah, dude. Hearing fucking wolves howling in the middle of this yeah, the kind nowhere ass place. Right now are big. I'm hungry right now, wolves. Watch your step. Got a little bit of a weird odor in here, huh? A little bit. It kind of smells good, though. Yeah? Within the first 20 seconds of being inside the house, I noticed movement in the corner of my eye. This place is uh, very vintage looking, you know? Yeah. I'm actually surprised because they did a pretty good job restoring it, you know, after the, uh, after the fire and everything. What's this say? Hey. Whoa. Hey. You seen that? Hello? Hello? No f way. I'm following behind Casey with the camera, and I see him kind of pan up really fast. And at first, I didn't see anything because he's right in front of me, and I'm just looking through the viewfinder. And then I see the door continue to just slowly swing open. What's this say? Hey. Whoa. Hey, you seen that? Hello? Hello? No f way. The door opens immediately after they both enter the property, which is a little unsettling, since they both arrive and enter the house. Then they carry on until they catch something even creepier. One of their cameras captures a toy moving and a frightful shadow figure advancing toward the door. But that was just the beginning. On the ground, there is a horrifying sight. Hey, we should get static cameras in here. 
right away. Yeah. Hey, we should get static cameras on here, like, right away. Yeah. I still do not want to believe what I think I saw. If I had seen what I saw on the playback of that footage down below us, I would not have even taken one step down those stairs. I had no idea that there was so much going on around us all night. To me, it seemed like we got a little bit of movement and some pretty questionable EVP recordings. But when we looked at the footage back and the static cameras and everything compiled in one, this place was extremely active for us the night we were there. A white hand moving with unnatural speed. Decide for yourself whether it's something otherworldly or just a fake. Number 10. This one comes from the terror at the extreme. And this time, Lewis and Leonardo visit an abandoned and rundown hacienda. The locals avoided the location because of the tale surrounding the enigmatic demon of the woman who was said to haunt the location. Lewis and Leonardo went there to investigate after learning about this. And as they were walking through the property, one of the cameras captured this. When they visit a different area of the property, the camera starts filming a dark, swiftly moving figure that enters the ruins. As they continue to explore, they both heard something much more unsettling. Strange footage captured by their camera shows a mysterious, black female figure standing still before she instantly vanishes into thin air. Was a ghost of a woman stalking this location? Or was it perhaps a well-planned ruse? I'll let you have the final say in this one. Number nine. Alberto Del Arco. A well-known Mexican ghost hunter visits a mansion near Manzanillo. The enormous hillside mansion has been enigmatically deserted for almost 35 years and now resembles a hotel rather than a house. Nobody understands why such a lavish mansion would have been left unoccupied for more than three decades given that it has a pool, a spa area, and a wonderful view of the ocean. Locals refer to the estate as, quote, house 
of the burned man, unquote, because of an urban legend that claims that one of the house's prior inhabitants died in a suspicious fire within the building. According to legend, the entire site is very haunted. The design of the house is a little perplexing once Alberto and his two cameramen enter. The crew hears what appears to be a child's voice followed by the sound of a breath while touring the weirdly built mansion. Esta casa. Aquí está cerrado, aquí ya no hay más. No todavía existen. Atrás, atrás. ¿No fue un animal? ¿Alguna ave? Ok, pero eso vino de este lado. ¿Soy yo claro? Madres. ¿Fuiste tú ahorita que pisaste? Sí. ¿O no? Sí. ¿Sí? Se oyó muy hueco, eh. Cuidado, sí, retumbó todo. No se nos vaya a caer encima parte de esta propiedad, porque sí se ve que está muy dañada. Mira, ven, 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 ven. Ven a ver esto. Cuidado. ¿Estás bien? Sí. Casa me estrella en la cara, güey. ¿Lo viste? Sí, la veo, sí. Despite the fact that their microphones can barely pick up the unexplainable sounds, all three explorers seem to hear them well. Alberto then has a terrifying close brush with a bat, and the group just chooses to go on with their inquiry outside while they explore the other structures on the large estate. Hola. No sé, güey, cómo que arrastraron algo. Buena noche. No creo que haya indigentes viviendo aquí, la verdad. Uy, está enorme este lugar. Atrás, 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 aquí. Eso fue aquí, eso fue aquí, eso fue aquí. Con cuidado. Puede haber animales, ¿eh? Strange noises that sound like something heavy being dragged across the floor heard by Alberto and his colleagues coming from inside some of the buildings. Alberto believes it would be rare for any homeless persons to reside on the hillside estate because it's so difficult to access. Rather, he thinks that all of the noises he's hearing might just be animal noises. But despite his skepticism, what follows next is difficult to explain. ¿Qué pasó, güey? ¿Qué pasó? Ay, güey, a mí se me hizo ver alguien acá. ¿Dónde? Allá, ¿dónde? ¿Dónde, dónde, dónde, dónde? ¿Dónde? ¿No habrá sido una sombra? ¿No habrá sido algún árbol? ¿Alguna rama? ¿Lo habrá trabado o no? Sí. A little while into their inquiry, the videographer records what looks to be a white ethereal person on camera. Shortly after that, they capture something else. Y hay más escaleras que andan hacia abajo, ¿eh? Cuidado, mucho murciélago. ¿Todo bien? Sí. ¿Qué hay allá? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Todo bien? Algo se movió. ¿Dónde? ¡Todo hijo de tu ¿Dónde, güey? ¿No son los murciélagos? Huele muy mal. Huele muy, muy mal. Bats fly out towards the cameraman, but it's not a bat that frightens him. Instead, it's what appears to be an oddly formed shadow staring back at him from just inside one of the rooms. They investigate, but find nothing. The figure is fled, leaving nothing except a terrible odor. Their ability to record crystal clear, uninterrupted audio soon becomes impossible due to the neighboring raucous party's echoing noise. There's no other option except to end their inquiry for Alberto and his colleagues. However, they managed to record something genuinely terrifying just before they depart. When they took these pictures... Con cuidado. Ok, ¿les parece si... si bajamos? Digo, aquí no hay más que una pequeña explanada. No está tan espectacular como la de arriba, quizá. Pero se me hace curioso que esté este piso, ¿no? The team claims they had no idea. Someone or something appeared to be observing them from the forest line. However, they did manage to capture an animatic figure that was just visible in the dark on camera. Did Alberto Del Arco and his two cameramen manage to document proof of spooky activity at the mansion, or was it something else? Number eight. 
Chelsea Luna and her group discover they are cursed while staying in a haunted hotel. They initially hear it, then they discover it. It then becomes apparent to them, and they constantly pick it up. This is... What was that? Dude, what the They say that they hear them clashing. <gasps> what the That's that is so weird. weird. What is that? James. What? I keep hearing something down there. Is there a spirit here? <gasps> somebody over there? <gasps> what the heck? Somebody over there. Is anyone in there? There's no way. They can't get past all this. Huh? Oh. Something just moved over here. Like, sound like something sh shifty is going on over there or something. The spirits become more circumspect as their agitation increases. Okay, so this just looks like a <laughs> whoa, ah, whoa, whoa! Is there something in there? What's that? But they appear to be pursuing a ghost. Chelsea goes on to detail what transpired. I started hearing these, like, these whispers and like a bunch of stuff started like hitting around downstairs, like in the kitchen area. It freaked me out. I wasn't recording at the time. I was sitting at my live stream and I'm like, what in the Then they hear an unnatural snarl. Take a close look. They keep looking about. <gasps> what the f What was that? The f Is there somebody there? Not knowing what might be in the room with them, I'm convinced. There's nobody over there, though. Get, get, James, we can't be in here. What is that? That there is a ghostly presence haunting this hotel after watching the convincing video. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. Number seven. This ghost hunter was so afraid for his life that he left all of his equipment behind. According to a Yunsawan article from May 2021, Yunsawan initially hears a frightening voice emanating from the basement when he enters this abandoned school. He seems to have finally located it after searching for it. The place, however, is empty. Later, when he believes he's being followed, his EMF meter begins to malfunction. He installs a few motion sensors, which are also activated. After a while, even the unsettling music box by the exit begins to play. All of the equipment starts to go off at once, which leads him to believe that the numerous ghosts are assembling in the space. He runs away in fear of his life while yelling all the while. Then he collects the bravery to go back. The music box continues to chime as it moves along the eerie hallway. When he returns to the room, he's inside taking a look around when something is flung in the opposite direction. It appears that his homecoming enraged the spirits gathered there. Number six. This spooky video, which is popular among Hindi-speaking YouTube users, is from the channel True Horror Stories POV. It tells the tale of a terrifying incident that happened on a nighttime road while it was dark, when a woman's automobile started having problems. The woman pulls to the side of the road where a random stranger stops to assist her. <sighs> What 
The man checks a few things, but then every time she tries to start her car, it still won't start. He informs her that it's not a mechanical issue. Tapi tadi kereta saya betul-betul mati mat. Bukan. Benda ikut ni. Benda ikut? Benda ikut. Benda apa, Cik? Cuba tengok dalam kereta sekarang. Dalam kereta. Instead, something seemed to have attached itself to her while she was traveling the cursed way. And perhaps he was correct. Eh. Cik. Although it's claimed that these instances are based on real life events, or they're just being reenacted here. <laughs> but what do you think of the story, though? Is it fake or the truth? Number five. This unsettling security footage was captured in a computer lab at night and released by Grid Synergy in November 2017. When an alarm goes off, a man working on two computers is startled to turn around. The man stands up to investigate the alarm, clearly unsure of its purpose. The man returns to his desk after the alarm does not ring again, confident that it was probably nothing. Then there comes a deafening bang. Following a brief period of much more noise off screen, the man can be seen running away in apparent dread. he was unable to leave that place quickly enough. What made him run away? Now when the man is gone, there's a peculiar creak and another loud bang. We wish we could have seen what was going on off screen. What you desire for though, beware. This movie provides a 360 degree picture of the action. When he heard the bang, he turned around quickly. In a room close to a foosball table, a light turns on. The man is moving towards this room to investigate it when he disappears from view. He takes something up from the floor in hopes that it was what made the noise, but he looks inside and finds nothing. He turns out the light before leaving once more. The door smashes and a chair emerges from a desk in front of him at that point making a racket. The man runs from the area. The room's lights come back on. Additionally, the window's reflection reveals this grotesque image. Number four. This video was published by a YouTube channel known as Chaos Griffin. The purchase of this property came with a curse. It's situated in Redlands, California, and was constructed over a Native American burial ground. Dr. Barton, the new landowner, was not a superstitious person. He didn't think the curses existed, but it came back to haunt him. According to legend, Barton's wife and daughters, as well as the rest of his family, all mysteriously and suddenly perished after he erected his enormous old mansion there. As a result, Barton began to go insane. 
Some claim that he even tried to contact his loved one's ghosts during his final days. It's reported that a demonic face stalks paranormal investigator Chaos Griffin through the haunted house, Barton Mansion, a three-story Victorian home that previously doubled as a sanitarium in the 20th century, has witnessed a lot of eerie rituals and paranormal activity. When the teens entered the residence in 2001, they were met with exactly that. A slab of raw meat surrounded by stones was found after they forced their way into the cellar. It resembled an organ, according to one of them. Just don't touch it, right? These rocks are. It is a real heart. Dude, that is a heart. Look at it. The party then decided to continue investigating the house, which they did while filming every step of the process. Initially released in April 2014, this frightful video was created by Chaos Griffin. The main film from a DVD that was once for sale, he explains is what's being shown here. The video starts at 10.41 p.m. on September 18, 2001. As the crew makes their way up the stairs to the second floor, the temperature continues to rise as they start their investigation. Shut up, man. Your heart will beat as you wait to see what happens next as they explore the rundown house until they finally find what they've been searching for, the paranormal. Another enormous figure approaches them from a different room as they proceed to look around more. This wasn't there a split second earlier. The crew was alarmed by the sight of the beast, which sets off their group flight response. While this video might convince some individuals to insist on looking into Barton Mansion further, others would rather set the building ablaze. Number three. In November 2021, Find Ghost published this video. This guy was completely unaware of what was going to happen. Wherever this man is must be tormented by an exceptionally cunning paranormal entity because it's unclear whether this terrifying video was shot at his home, at a school, or even in a hostel. He can be seen leaving the room to the right and walking up the stairs. There's a wash bin next to the stairwell. The entity appears to be lurking there. A shadowy figure emerges from beneath the staircase and rushes towards the man as he passes while sipping water from a bottle. The man is suddenly knocked back and raised into the air as it seems to gather around him and envelop him. As he uses all of his effort to ward off the creature, his legs and arms are flying all over the place. However, it drags him into the adjacent room and out of view. Although the video ends there, I truly want to know what happened to this guy. What do you guys think? Number two. This little video clip was uploaded to YouTube by Devil's Hour Productions, in which the proprietor of the YouTube channel captured something intriguing while conducting research at the Old South Pittsburgh Hospital. We can make out a shadowy figure 
hiding rapidly in one of the doorways. Is the shadow person a real ghost or simply a joke? Number one. This video was uploaded by TikTok user Hongan135, who had previously released a number of brief excerpts from her security tape. In the recordings, there's a lot of unsettling and suspicious activity that gives the impression that evil poltergeists are there. How do you feel about it now? Real or fake? And that, my friends, is going to wrap it up for today. I hope you liked the video. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do so. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. This has been The Haunter, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep it creepy.